worldwide on a global basis of urban regeneration. This is extraordinary. And this has been done in a democracy. I lived in China for some years, and I watched how Shanghai was regenerated. But it is a lot easier to relocate two or three million people uh, when you run a communist regime and they either move or they go to prison. It is a lot harder to do it in a vibrant democracy like the Philippines. So can I secondly say my warm congratulations, Senator, to you, the Mayor, the Governor, everyone who's doing the job. Now, of course, the third thing I really want to highlight is, I think, a, a brilliant decision made by Ambassador Asif Ahmed and his team with uh, Director of Trade and Industry, Mike Moon, to come and re-explore the Visayas. Uh, following in the entrepreneurial spirit of uh, Nicholas Loney, it's an interesting surname, Loney. It's very close to another word in English, Looney. <laughs> and I'm sure that in the 1850s there would have been some people in Singapore and London who thought that Loney was becoming a bit loony when he <laughs> decided to explore uh, the Visayas uh, and Kana and Iloilo. But uh, what a difference he made and what a very gracious tribute paid to him some 170 years later, Senator by you just now. Interestingly, the photograph that architect Paolo flagged up on the screen showed that Loney was very much a man of his time uh, in England. He had rather wild hair and quite a beard. Uh, these things went out of fashion for a long time. But on the other side of uh, Parliament from my party, the Socialist Party, we now have a, a leader of the opposition who has quite a decent sized beard. And beards uh, are going through a little bit of, uh, they're going through a bit of regeneration too. They've come back into fashion. And this is all part of a growing global trend of nationalism. There is a correlation between beards and nationalism, which is against the trend of globalism and greater trade and investment between countries that we stand for. So. I'm encouraging Ambassador Asif Ahmad not to develop too full a beard uh, for fear that this is demonstrating protectionist tendencies. But he's given me reassurance on that point. Um, and the interesting thing is the spirit of the 1850s, the 1860s, the Victorian generation in the UK was very dynamic. Uh, the senator referred to him as a gentleman. I, I've no idea whether Nicholas Loney was a gentleman or not. I hope he will have discovered that the uh, Longas are the most beautiful women in the world and that he did behave like a gentleman. But most importantly, he was an entrepreneur. And these were days when vice consuls and diplomats were entrepreneurs as well. Now, Mike, I'm not asking you to set up your own sugar company or even to import textiles from Manchester. You might be better off actually exporting textiles from the Philippines to Manchester this time around. But what we are looking for is to rediscover that spirit of not just of Great Britain, but of global Britain. And the leaving of the European Union, which effectively is triggered next Wednesday, the 29th of March, is the moment when we stop subcontracting our trade agreements to a bundle of people in Brussels, and we bring them back in-house and start enfranchising people like the Ambassador and Mike to get on and seek the best possible arrangements for both Britain and the Philippines in our own trade arrangements. And this can only be to the advantage of the Visayas, because this is one of the world's great agricultural uh, areas, regions, and there is no reason when I go back to London why I should not be able to enjoy absolutely delicious mangoes on a regular basis, free of tariffs. We do not, ladies and gentlemen, grow mangoes in the UK. There is no competition. So these are opportunities to be realized. And the same is true also in the sugar sector. Your sugar cane has been squeezed out of the UK market over time because of the EU's preference for sugar beet which uh, was grown in continental Europe and is now grown in the UK. But sugar cane is a very attractive product, and I hope that we will see that as well.